It's early morning and Dr. Humuso Mukwala is already working in the day one in the nuclear medicine section of the Steve Biko Academic Hospital, preparing to examine and treat a non-melanoma skin cancer patient. She is one of only 100 nuclear medicine physicians servicing South Africa's over 60 million population. Nuclear medicine is an ever-evolving field, so you constantly have to be updating yourself with the latest developments that are happening, so you have to read a lot. It's a fairly new discipline of study, and she has successfully emerged with a Bachelor of Medicine and Surgery degree, fellowship at the College of Nuclear Physicians, Master of Nuclear Medicine, and a doctorate in nuclear medicine philosophy. We actually one of the first few centers in the world that was doing uh, actinium uh, 225 prostate cancer therapy, uh, thanks to our mentor and our head of department, Professor Teche. As the head of the clinical unit, Dr. Mugwala's daily work involves supervising other physicians who are also making their mark in the nuclear medicine field. In this room, patients who are referred by various doctors uh, with many conditions are scanned um, and uh, the technologists are generally the ones responsible for scanning in this room and uh, will place the patient on the bed and stand behind that uh, door um, glass and uh, let the patient lie down and be imaged uh, sometimes for a period of five minutes sometimes for as long as an hour. So it has to be a very comfortable situation when the patient is lying on this bed. Once the technologists have completed scanning the patients, the pictures are then transmitted to this gamma camera room where Dr. Mukwala and other nuclear medical physicians analyze them. So the way that we do our images, we inject a radioactive uh, compound into the body that will then follow a certain physiological process depending on what it is that you want to image at that time. It's crucial for them to look very closely at the images to ensure that all abnormalities are reported. Right now what we are doing is uh, PET-CT and PET-CT is usually requested by doctors of patients who have cancer and uh, so we report those and it helps the doctors know whether the patient needs systemic treatment or local treatment and uh, or we also help to see if the treatment has worked or not and so they can with the results of our scans they can manage the patients um, better she is also thrilled to be paving her path in these uncharted waters very proud to be a new climate and physician i enjoy it i enjoy what i do i enjoy learning and i think uh, for me it was the best decision career wise dr mugwala also enjoys her work even if i try to sit and think what other options could i have taken in terms of career choices this is always my number one for me because uh, you know nothing beats having put, uh, you know, or seeing that joy from the patient or a patient coming in initially and they couldn't walk and then we gave treatment and now the patient tells you they feel so healthy, they can even run marathons. You know, it's, it's the best feeling ever. Dr. Mugwala also has words of encouragement to other women. It's not impossible. Uh, the sky is the limit and we shouldn't allow the glass ceilings that are placed there for us as females uh, to dictate who we become. As the current president of the South African Society of Nuclear Medicine, Dr. Mugwala and her team have been invited by the International Scientific and Medical Organization, the Society of Nuclear Medicine and Molecular Imaging, to attend its June meeting in Toronto, Canada, to recognize the great strides they are making in nuclear medicine. Tusukumalo for VOA News, Johannesburg.